Welcome back to another video tutorial brought to you by TheVirtualInstructor.com. Today we're going to talk about creating a clipping mask to do some interesting things with text. Um, in other words, show an image through the text. And you've seen this over and over again. It's really easy to do. And this is the image that we're going to make. And you can be creative with what you do with it. Well, the first thing we need to do is open up the image. Uh, this is going to be the end result. So I'll go up here and I'll find my image. And... I believe that's it and there it is let me just make it a little bit smaller so you can see it all right this is the image that we're going to use now first of all you need to decide what text you're going to put over the top of it i'm going to be a little cliche here and put love um, so i'm going to do this actually so the text is spread out not just so you see it across but you see some of the words at the top or some of the letters at the top some of the letters at the bottom so I'm working with Arial Black font. Um, I would choose a font that's really thick and is going to show a lot of the photograph through the text. Um, also, I'm making sure that Strong is selected here. There's some other options up here. Um, but for what we're going to do, I want, I want the text to be as bold as possible. And since bold is not an option, Strong will do. It doesn't really matter what color the text is, but I'm going to go ahead and put an LO right here. And then we're going to go up to Edit, Transform, and select Scale. And then we'll go back over here to the letters. And if you hold down the Shift key, it'll actually pull out the letters so they don't get too distorted. Uh, I know they're distorted right now, but um, it's pulling them out equally on both sides, on the top and the bottom. And that's what you, kind of what you want to happen. So uh, we're going to kind of eyeball this. and. Trying to make it take up about half of the image. And we will be able to move the image around when we're finished. I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. So it looks like a good place to start. Double click on the inside when you like where it is. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing underneath here. And I'm going to finish the word BE. And then I'll go back up to Edit, Transform, Scale again. Hold the Shift key as I pull the letters out and try to get them lined up with the top part. And we might let them touch a little bit. All right, double click when you like it. All right, now over here in your layer menu, you'll see you've got a VE layer, you've got an LO layer, both of those are text layers, and you've got your background layer. We want the LO and the VE to be on the same layer, so it's really easy to do that. First of all, we'll hide our background layer and then we'll go up to layer and select merge visible and since the LOVE is the only things that are visible it creates them in one layer so now we have two layers okay now we're ready to create the clipping mask to do that um, we need to duplicate the background layer so we'll right click on the background layer and select duplicate layer click OK then we'll pull the LOVE layer, the text layer, behind the background copy layer, the new layer that we've just made. All right, now we want to create the clipping mask on the background copy layer, this one right here. Um, and the clipping mask is actually going to affect what's underneath it. So we're actually telling the computer that we want this information to be found within this area right here. So to do that, we're going to go up here to layer and select Create Clipping Mask. And now we've got a little arrow that points down to it. So we want to take this information and put it in that shape. So when we bring this layer back, you'll see it does that. Pretty cool. All right. Now let's say that things don't line up exactly the way I want it to. Well, I'll just use my Move tool and I can move the image around inside of the text. Okay. You also can do any type of effects and all kinds of stuff, the normal stuff that you can do to layers in here. Um, but this isn't really standing out the way I want it to, so I'm going to go ahead and, and insert a fill layer to do that. It's real easy. We'll go up to Layer, and we'll go to New Fill Layer, and select Solid Color. Click OK. And since I want some contrast, I'm going to select Black. And click OK. Now it's just a matter of pulling this layer behind the clipping mask and the text layer and you've got the image that we started out with. And that's how you use a clipping mask um, to do some cool things with text and you can basically do it with anything. It doesn't have to be text. Um, so have fun. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video tutorial brought to you by the virtualinstructor.com.